Hello everyone, welcome back to Doll Flippers. It's 5 in the morning where I am, but I can't sleep, so you're just gonna have to deal with it. So today I wanted to make a doll out of a very interesting mechanic that was on a discontinued line. There are a lot of discontinued doll lines that had interesting features, and I honestly don't understand why they didn't fly. I would have bought them if I were the target age for them. The dolls I'm talking about were called Mystics. Mystics were really, really cool because they had two faces. There was like apparently lore in that these, you know, these girls would turn into vampires or something like that. They also had a line with zombies. But as you can see in the middle, there is one head with two faces. Here's a look at it bald. Thank you to dolldiaries.com for this picture. Um, it's, it's a lot easier to look at without the hair. And yes, they don't have hair because they came with two wigs. But um, I feel like that just makes it all the easier. You can buy whatever you want, whatever wig you want, and replace the wig that you have. It's a lot easier than rerouting. Well, the doll I want to make it of is this phenomenon where women are constantly being compared to themselves to each other. You know, I'm not like those other girls. Those other girls aren't like me. It's this obsession with being, you know, the good face in the crowd, the good clone. Because we're all trying to be different, but we all just end up, you know, rebelling to stick to the other side. It's like Red Rover. You try and break away, but you just end up in the same spot as a bunch of different people. And I have these here because... You know, the Becky and the Stacy. This this is like the names for them. Um, these would be Stacy's, these would be Becky's. And I have this one here because this is the woman version of this meme, which is slightly older, but these have been around and this is just a, a deviation of this and this is just giving it a name. So I figured it might be fun to do a two-faced doll where one side is Becky and the other one is Stacy. So I'm going to open up Google search. Not sponsored by Google. Yes, incels. The incels are, are to blame for this shit. You know, the incels are to blame for most things. I'm gonna get hate for that. I'm gonna get a lot of uh, misogynistic comments. But, you know, that's kind of because I have a vagina to start with. So, as per usual, I am going to be just copy pasting features because I don't have a computer tablet. This is just a mouse. And, uh, you know, think what you want, but it's, it's a lot easier this way. I'm going to take this here so I can isolate the eye. Get rid of the uh, skin color. I understand that this doll is going to be, you know, it's just going to have purple skin, and, you know, that's alright. You can always dye doll skin. Usually, uh, the go to is RIT dye, but I'm sure that there are other dyes that can be vouched for. I'm not, uh, super well read on it, so I would look up articles about it. 
So that's good for that eye. And then we want to flip it. I'm going to flip the eye shape but keep the iris. So we could have our cross eyed, but this is supposed to be the quote unquote smart one. And there was an example with glasses, but I wanted to see the eye. You know, like what what's the point in trying to do this through a pair of uh, glasses that have been digitally added? I'm gonna flip this here. I'm gonna no. So yeah, I'm I'm a little uh I'm a little sick of it. I've been thinking about my gender a lot. I've decided I'm not. I I've you know come to realize that I'm not a girl. And I was I was a uh, I was worried at first of being accused of trans trending, but when I think about it, I look back to my childhood and. I remember saying, I, I had always described it as, I don't feel like a quote-unquote proper girl. Like, these expectations mean you're a girl, and these, you know, filling the criteria means you're a boy, then I don't really want to be held to these, you know, gender expectations. That was a bad eye. I'm just gonna keep the eye the way it was, and flip it. Oh, that was the, that was the wrong way. I already had it flipped. You'll see a lot of, like, cross-eyed dolls. You'll see a lot of cock-eyed dolls. It's interesting how uh, things go unchecked, but, you know, it's okay. So this is going to be the Becky, which is odd because Becky is usually, you know, a name for a character like the Stacys. Now, I don't, you know, claim to be a... The gender messiah, or whatever, or the feminist messiah. I don't, um, I'm not perfect. I've been guilty of this kind of thing before. I was on the goth side of goths versus preps. But I'm allowed to grow and learn. And what I have learned is it's, it's a big ploy to keep us pitted against each other. Because people like to see women fighting. It's entertainment. And it's not something that you have to be. It's not a criteria of being a woman. There's all these expectations that we have to live up to. And it isn't fair. Of course there are expectations that men have to live up to. But with women, you know, I can only vouch for women first of all. Okay, so Becky doesn't have lipstick, but I can't really do the, you know, bring the flesh color over, because she's just going to look like she's wearing beige lipstick. I was going to say nude, but there's more than one nude color. So yeah, it's a thing of keeping us in competition, because... If we band together, that we would pose as a threat to the patriarchy. I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of shit for this, but so be it. You know, so be it. This is my channel. And 
until I get banned, you're all gonna have to live with it. Or you could just, you know, not watch. I know nobody's watching. They will soon enough, because this is gonna spark something. I'm not looking for it too, but if anyone does have a problem, I'd love to uh, have a conversation with somebody. Because I've been stuck in my room. Outside of going to Thanksgiving, which I just came back from, I've just kind of been alone. I'm sure people are going to say something about that. I, like, I feel, I have these conversations in my head and they always make up, like, you know, that's my brain's, like, screwed up way of thinking that it's, uh, policing me. But it's not doing anyone any good. Okay, so that's the Becky. I don't really, I really don't like this eye. I'm not a big fan of the cross eyes. No offense to anyone who has cross eyes, it's just... It's, it's a... It's tricky not to draw cross eyes. And I'm proud of, uh, you know, figuring out how to draw eyes centered. Because you just need it off by that much. Okay. You know what? That's not bad. I'll, I'll feather this end. Just make it real soft. Okay. Now this isn't makeup because, you know, Becky doesn't wear makeup. She's not a liar. Because makeup apparently makes you a liar. Makeup was meant to be worn. If you don't look like a clown hooker after you put on your face, don't talk to me. That was a joke, of course, but... I feel like I have to disclaim that it was a joke. I do enjoy makeup, but I don't wear it to be femme. To be feminine, I wear it because I want to. I've been held to a lot of uh, gender expectations lately, and I will get to that in a second, because Becky is done. Hooray. And, oh, this is what I was talking about. This doll came with a blonde and a purple wig. So, the purple's for the vampire character, the blonde is for the human character, but you can switch it up, because they part on both sides. So we've got Becky done, now we're going to do Stacy. I usually color the hair at the end, even though it's a wig, but that's the reason I'm not going to color it this time. It's because it's a wig and it can just be switched out. Okay. Now we're going to do the same, the same thing. Just... Get rid of the yellow, isolate everything, isolate the eye, it's a bit of eye isolation, get it? Look, they don't all land. So that's the eye. I don't think we're going to have as much of a cross eye problem, but if we do, it'll be a pinch to finish. That's actually a good fit. I didn't really have to resize that by that much. But for the sake of foreshortening, this is why I like working with dolls that are facing dead on. Because 
then you gotta squash and stretch and it ends up um every time you move something angular wise or you know stretching the parameters so it's not proportional it gets a little bit blurrier in paint.net so that wasn't an issue at all now they do have eyebrows so let me just go back to becky oh why are her eyes so dark I must have put them on a transparent layer. I'm gonna fix this. If I just do it that way. Okay, cool. I'm gonna paste and the eyes are back where they are. Um they do have eyebrows, so Becky's got the you know, dark broody. She's she's got a broody expression, but since she's smiling, it just kind of looks vaguely uncomfortable, which is accurate. So there we go. And then Stacy. very arched eyebrows like she's she's surprised that's not really I don't think that that's the way that she would have penciled them on but I don't know Stacy personally she could do her own thing this is about individuality or the mystique of it the mystique of being unique um, this doll isn't half blue, half purple, by the way. It's just a... It's just the lighting for this side. Okay. I make that a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna do her eyebrows. I don't know where this obsession with eyebrows came from. Like, you know, I used to think that my eyebrows were ugly because I just have naturally large eyebrows. I don't really have to tweeze them or <coughs> do much maintenance in order to keep them uh, the shape that they are. And I used to, you know, I didn't like them, but I didn't want to shave them because A, that hurts, and B, it's just kind of a family thing. That's the mark of my family. We have big eyebrows, tiny lips, and pale, soulless eyes. I'm like, you know not that soulless looking by comparison because my eyes are green I'm not you know pale ghostly blue god this red is way off but I just wanted to get the fangs out of the transparency so then it can look like that here we go and there is our Stacy. So here's the, the here's how I would do a two-faced Becky Stacy doll. Thank you for watching. If you ever get inspired by any of my work, please let me know. I would love to see it. But until then, I'll see you around. Have a good one.